and welcome. In this section, we will cover fixing the incoming data from Access Studio so that you can drive a metahuman character in Unreal Engine. First, let's start by opening your Unreal project. As you can see, I already have the live link connected to Access Studio. So the first thing we are going to do is we are going to bring a corrective pose animation FBX into Unreal Engine. So as you can see, we have a PN3 and PN Studio one. Let's bring in the PN3. All right, so when the FBX import options show up, make sure to select the metahuman base skeleton. And then make sure the animation is gonna be imported. All right, and then you can click import. Sweet, so the animation has been imported. The next thing we are going to do is right click on the metahuman base skeleton, go to create and then animation blueprint. Name the animation blueprint something that's gonna be memorable. I'm gonna leave it as a default name for now. All right, open that up and uh, let's change the mesh to be not just pants. All right, yay, now it's a person. All right. All right, so next we're gonna add the live link pose. All right, in the live link pose node under subject name, we're gonna select Wuda, because if we go back to our live link tab here, you'll see that Wuda is listed under subject name. In Access Studio, you can name your character whatever you want before you start recording, and whichever name you choose will show up here. All right. So click on the live link pose node and where it says retarget asset here you are going to select the ue mannequin live link remap asset next we're going to search for that animation that we imported earlier in our asset browser it's actually right here at the top all right so we'll drag that in here and we'll drag it into our live link pose node and we'll compile all that together all right, as you can see, now your Access Studio data is driving the metahuman skeleton. Fantastic. So the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna open your metahuman actor blueprint. All right, so once you have your metahuman's blueprint open, you're gonna add a component and you're gonna add a live link skeletal animation. All right. Then click on body and in the details tab under where it says animation, you're going to switch it to use animation blueprint. And then you're going to select the blueprint that you, that we just created earlier, which is this one. And now, as you can see, our metahuman is being driven by our access studio animation. So we can compile and save that. So compile and save the blueprint. And then you can bring your metahuman into the scene and he will be driven in real time by your Access Studio motion data. So that's it for this tutorial. Hope you found it helpful and we will see you next time.